Well, that took forever to transfer. Okay, first things first. Yes, I shaved my head. Long story short, bought a snake, blood and dirt in my hair, okay? It'll grow back. Second, and what this video is actually about. Okay, so we all know that I've got several pieces of artwork around the house, and what I typically work on and work with is charcoal and paints my uh, Prismacolor pencils. Well, I never really understood the point behind me trying to figure out digital art because I didn't see it as a, uh, you can call it ignorance. I was ignorant to the fact that I did not see digital art as a fine art, and I prefer fine art. And to me, it felt like doing artwork on a screen felt like it was taking a lot of emotion away from the artwork. And me and Craig have had these discussions for a long time. Because, see, me as an artist, I know what goes into art. It, like, what you put into it, your heart, your soul, your blood, your sweat, your tears. Um, Craig, on the other hand, He's not an artist. He is complete and totally 100% technology. I guarantee you if he actually ever had to go under the knife for surgery, you would find circuits in there, okay? So he says that digital art is in his, well, he said it's more perfect because we were discussing um, which one is better and we were talking about the fact that artwork when it has faults or it didn't come out the way you wanted it to, gives it character. And art's never perfect. So he was saying, well, with digital art, it, it is perfect. It can be perfect. It can be 100% because there is no erase button on a canvas or paper or burlap or whatever you're working on. If you're working on wood, there is no erase button, okay? But in digital art, there is, and you can. So, I don't know why I started looking at it, but keep in mind, this is the stylus that I typically always work with. It has a squishy, squishy piece on the top, and it's mesh with um, a really fine wire. It's not that rubber. And then on this end, it has this flat disc See if I can, there you go. Yeah, that's the uh, pinpoint, but I don't really like it because when I'm on the surface, it kind I have to kind of go at it at an angle so that way it doesn't just kind of like flip over like that. I want it to actually sit on there, but even then it's not very precise. And I started working on, I forgot what the name of the app is. It's like Ipix, I Ipix. Hang on a second, I can actually tell you Ibiz, oh, it's Ibiz Paint. Okay, Ibiz Paint X, or 10, depending on what they use the X for. And I started drawing, it actually gave me a video clip of it, so I'm gonna put that up. I started working on this eye, and I had never, I, working on eyes is the one thing I've always tried my hardest to do, because eyes can be very dimensional, and I suck at drawing facial features. Okay, the Jessica Alba picture that I did was like a one-off. It took me six weeks, like three to six weeks to make that damn thing. And it, like, I swear to God, there's like, my DNA is in that fucker, okay? And you can see I kind of fucked up a little bit in the eye. I kind of messed up here and there. I had to go back and erase, and then I had to fix the eyelashes. And even in the end, I ended up with like way too many eyelashes. Uh, the iris itself came out pretty good. I feel like the pupil is a bit small. Um, but in the end, it was still, it came out pretty good, in my opinion. And now, keep in mind, this is the first time I am ever working on an actual screen. I've done some digital artwork in the past. Um, I had a Wacom bamboo tablet. But I do have to say, Working on an actual screen screen is a lot better than working on a pad. And if you don't know what I mean by a pad, a pad is where you're working on a surface 
that has the texture of paper on it, but you cannot see what you're drawing because it is connected to the screen of the computer. And in order to figure out where the point of your pencil is at, you have to actually touch it with the stylus. So after I started fiddling around with that and I started getting like into the colors of the iris and everything, I went and I got, and it turns out Craig bought me one too, so we're waiting on it to get here. I went and bought this. Now this is an actual stylus. It is, well, it's not battery powered, but it's electric. Um, you charge it there. On one end, it has the same meshy, fine wire cushion tip. And then on this end, it has a, I don't think you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you that in the camera, but it has a small metal tip. I think they said it was either copper or nickel. And when I turn it on by that button, right, where do you go? There it is. Turn it on by that button right there. It now can work as a stylus, but the fine point gives me the ability to draw a little easier. So I started working on a second piece with the stylus. Okay. So the stylus I have seen is far better. Okay. This is the whole reason why I wanted to get a stylus because this floppy little cushion tip doesn't really work for fine details. Now, granted, obviously in this, in this piece, uh, the dragon's eye came out really awesome. I love the way it came out, but by the time I was doing like the whole thing, I'm still trying to figure out, you know, how and what I can work with. Um, cause I'm trying out a couple of different apps, but really I don't know which one I prefer, but I do have to say that I am kind of liking this digital artwork, you know, or drawing digitally. Is that the right way to say it? Um, because first of all, there are things that I have always wanted to get my hands on, but could never afford to do it. Like inkwells or inkwell, ink, yeah, inkwell brushes or inkwell pens, um, an airbrush setup, uh, you know, the different hundreds of types of paint brushes and paints, you know, watercolors and stuff like that. I just don't have the money to invest in being able to get all of those things. But on this, on these apps, I can. And it, I was working with the watercolor at one point and it was, God, its texture was random, or I shouldn't say texture, its outlining was completely randomized, which is exactly like watercolor. You know, it doesn't have a systematic form that it flows into, you know, because it's water colors. Anyway, it just seemed to me like I was able to have access to all of these different things that I don't have access to on a regular medium because I don't have the ability to get an airbrush set up because that shit is expensive. I don't have all these different kinds of paints and paintbrushes. I do have some, but I don't have the room to have all of it that I want. And on these apps, I do. And it's just, I'm really, I'm really kind of liking this. I know me and Craig still have extremely opposite end controversial opinions on digital art versus fine art. And quite frankly, I'm, I'm still kind of leaning both ways. It's kind of weird. I'm leaning both ways because I do still prefer paper and charcoal pins, graphite, whatever you want, the physical artwork of it. But I think that's just me being a little biased. It might be, uh, because when I started doing like the piece, well, I'm sure show you the piece. This one I created, it's kind of like a self portrait, self image portrait. This is not me as in a mirror image of me. This is how I felt most of my life growing up with my health problems and you know, just the shit that I've dealt with. I've done a couple of just little meander pieces for some friends. I did the wood burning of the uh, cross for Shelby and Daniel. And of course there's the series of canvases that I did of game controllers. And it's just, 
you get so messy when you're doing it that by the time you're done and you're taking a shower, you're like, yes, I have accomplished something. Look how dirty I am. And when you're working with charcoal, you're, you are charcoal. You are covered in charcoal. You can't touch anything because you will get charcoal on everything. And the same kind of still applies with spray paint, except you're not going to get it on everything. You just get it all over you. Some of my favorite bandanas and pants got covered in spray paint and shit because I love to work with spray paint. I'm not very good at it, but I like it. So, I mean, we got really, we got really deep into that conversation. And I have to say, I'm honestly enjoying this whole digital art thing. And I didn't really think I would. So I might actually do a couple more of these little drawings to show on YouTube because this is, this is honestly really cool and I just, it's hard to explain. It's, it's definitely changing my opinion on the definition of what could be considered fine arts. This, is, this has become a learning situation for me because while if I had a piece of paper and whatever I decided to draw with, not only would I screw it up because it's a process and I wouldn't be able to, er to erase it, but with digital art, it can be perfect. I can get it to look exactly how I want it to. But anyway, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you enjoyed the clips. I might do a couple more of these. I love you all. Bye.